Hey guys, I'm out here at Canary Creek right before sunset. I'm hoping to do a little fitness paddling, but while I'm out here, I might as well bring a jig and a rod and see if I can hook up on a couple of flounder or maybe even a striper. Let's see how it goes. Maybe my new Robert Field apparel will bring me a little bit of luck. It couldn't hurt anyway. Man, this is about as clean as I could get my feet. This is sort of the naked and afraid of fishing here. You can't really pack gear. One rod, one reel. I'm going with that Berkeley Golf on a 3 8 ounce jig. Keep your chicken color. Let's see what happens. Definitely a lot of like minnows hugging the shore. Just a few signs of life that I like. Got him! Oh, nice! Oh, oh, oh! It was big enough to definitely be a striper. I'm taking a sleigh ride. Woohoo! Should be interesting if it's not a striper and it's this big. <laughs> I'm not hoping it's a toothy critter. He was laying right on that point right there. All right, I've never boated a fish this big from a stand-up paddleboard. This is a lot bigger than the crappy and bluegill and largemouth I've caught here, like on this thing. Oh, oh, I see color. Oh, I see color. Nice. It's a nice striper. Look at that. There he is. Wow. All right, this should be fun. Oh, yeah. Getting a striper like this on a paddleboard is not something I do every day. Up here without breaking the line. Ah, oh, nice, much healthier looking fish than last time I was here. I caught a caught what I thought was a zombie striper, man. Great. Alright, I got you, I got you, buddy. Alright. Oh, that's freaking great. Woo! Healthy looking fish. I think it'd be a little fatter, but all in all, super healthy. Let's let this fella go. Let's see. Let's see if he's ready. <laughs> I don't think he's ready. Oh, there he goes. There, I just saw him kick off. I let go when he bit me. He bit me kind of hard for a striper. Dude, that was so much fun. Unreal. All right. I think this piece of gulp has had it. It's pretty chewed up. It's time to put something else on. All right, I've seen guys on YouTube have great luck with this uh, salmon red color. And I got the five inch rather than the three inch for a you know, bigger presentation. All right, the one negative side effect of fishing when the sun goes down is that the mosquitoes definitely come out. And I'm just starting to get swarmed here in the marsh. There we go, looks good. I am going to fish back here as long as I don't get annihilated by mosquitoes. When that starts happening, I'm going to book it back. I'm going to stop in here because it's another open, kind of a circular area that funnels back. And I have swirling waters and some contour change. I 
actually looks juicy all around here. Yeah, I like it like that, coming right off the bank. For me, that was a good cast. I got one. Yeah, he doesn't feel very big. Oh, there he goes. Whoa! Got a nice flatty. Look at that flounder. Dude, he annihilated this gulp. Second cast for me with this gulp. And he lit it up. Oh, this pot's great back here. All right, I'm gonna need some pliers on this one. He is not the keeper. In Delaware, they gotta be 16 and a half inches to keep. He'd be lucky to break 14. All right, buddy, let me get this out of here. Dude, he just choked that thing down. Nice. Got it. What? That was a safe release. I stayed to catch some late day, early evening flounder and I'm paying the price, guys. Oh my god, have I gotten annihilated by mosquitoes. I'm gonna try to race back about three quarters of a mile to the launch. Whew!